Hello and welcome back to another quick training tutorial and teaching moment. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about our feature called the credit analyzer. Now you're probably wondering what the H is that? The credit analyzer is a powerful, powerful feature. Now I want you to assume and I want you to remember and I want you to think. Do you remember when you are looking at a credit report and you're trying to find all of the problems, the inconsistencies, the wrong accounts, you're going over this credit report hand by hand, line by line, trying to figure out what is wrong with each account. Now this is after you've done the interview with your customer, but you still have to go line by line trying to figure out what is wrong between each account on the credit report so you can start your dispute process. Now that can take hours. That can take anywhere from an hour or two hours, right? We call it factual disputing. That's what we call it. We call it factual disputing. Now what I'm gonna show you right now is I'm gonna show you our powerful feature called the analyzer. Now, the analyzer, what does the analyzer do? The analyzer allows you to see at a bird's eye view all of the inconsistencies and issues on a credit report in a matter of minutes. Now, like I said before, in a matter of minutes. You don't believe me? I'm gonna show you right now how you can use the analyzer to pinpoint inconsistencies, problematic accounts between all three bureaus. Now what the analyzer does, it goes and it reads the credit report, all three, a tri-merge, and it looks at the inconsistencies between all three. Now what do I mean by that? What do I mean by that is that what it does, it looks at Experian, then it looks at Equifax, and then it looks at TransUnion, and then it determines what's going on which, with that account across all three bureaus. Now remember, the Fair Credit Reporting Act states that any accounts reporting on the credit report has to be 100% accurate. So that means if Chase Bank reports to Experian, it needs to report the negative item to Equifax, and it needs to report the negative item to TransUnion as well. And if it don't report on all three, then that's an inconsistency, right? So if the balance is different from TransUnion and it's different on Experian and it's different on Equifax, that's a problem. And I call that factual disputing. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen? The client dispute manager can figure that out for you in a matter of minutes. Now let's go ahead and take a look behind the engine at the credit analyzer. So what I'm gonna do is click here. I'm gonna go to quick import and analyzer. I'm gonna select on Mark Banks. Let's find Mark Banks, that's my favorite guy. I'm gonna run analyzer, you see right here? Run the analyzer. Now the great thing about it, not only can you run the analyzer, you can run a credit analysis and the analyzer together as a separate PDF, or you can run the credit analysis and the analyzer as a combined PDF. So if you want to run and get the credit analysis and analyzer in one PDF, you can do that as well by clicking here. See, same PDF. Or if you want to do it independently, separate PDF, you can run both of them at the same time and you can have separate PDFs. So let me show you right now the analyzer. So I'm going to click the analyzer. I'm going to select Smart Credit because that's who I use. I'm going to add a border and I'm going to click on Quick Import 
for the analyzer. So do you remember my last video, I said the quick import also applies to the analyzer as well. So that means that you don't have to log into Smart Credit Monitoring and download the credit report or grab the HTML file and bring it into the software, wasting all that time because the quick importer automatically works with the analyzer. Now you don't see me downloading anything, do you? <laughs> You're not gonna see me downloading anything, all right? All right, so let's check this out. So now what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna hit the quick import and let's watch the magic work. Let's go. It's building the analyzer right now. It's looking at all three credit bureaus, the information on the credit bureaus, and it's trying to determine the inaccuracy and the inconsistency of all three credit reports. Let's let's let it work. Done. Finished. It is done, ladies and gentlemen. It's all done. I didn't log in anywhere. You didn't see me grab an HTML file. You didn't see me copy any type of code. You didn't see any of that. All you saw was me click a couple buttons and the software did all the work by itself. That's the power of the Client Dispute Manager. We made it easy for you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> We made it so if you haven't tried to analyze it, you don't know what you're missing out on because this is based off factual disputing. If you're trying, if you're out there disputing blind, you haven't interviewed your customer and you're just disputing randomly and you don't even know what's going on, the analyzer will save you. Say, let me give an example. Let me give an example. Say, for example, you can't get in touch with your customer for whatever reason, right? And they sign up with you. You can't get in touch with them. And you say, you know what? I have to do some work on this file. Well, boom, run the analyzer, run the analyzer, and it'll tell you all of the inconsistencies across all three credit bureaus. And then you can use that as your basis of factual disputing. You can get that first dispute round off while you're trying to get in touch with the customer. And then once you get in touch with, with the customer, you can further go deeper with the interview, but the analyzer is pretty accurate and it will tell you the difference between the credit bureaus and what they're reporting. Because remember, you're disputing facts. You're disputing facts. You're not going after theory. You're going after facts. And we know what the Fair Credit Reporting Act states that it has to be 100% accurate on the credit report. All right, so let me stop talking. Let me show you a partial of the, the analyzer, a partial. So let me go ahead and click on analyzer. It's gonna load. And as you can see, this is your cover page right here. Let me move that the way. This is your cover page right here. Okay, that's your cover page. As you can see, we're gonna scroll down and this kind of gives you a summary. It kind of gives your customer a summary of what this analyzer is about. And I can't go to the next page because it's sensitive information there and I can't disclose the customer's sensitive information. The next page will start the credit report. I'm gonna scroll up a little bit. You see right there, how to read a report. It will show that and I can't scroll up any further because I will be showing sensitive information. Let's go back here. And if you want to send this analyzer to your customer with a click of a button, you would simply go right here and email the analyzer directly to your customer and blow them away with the power of the inconsistencies. Now, can you imagine, can you imagine your customer seeing all of the issues that's going on with their credit report? Imagine you are trying to close the customer and they're not sure, they don't know you. They're like, oh, I don't know, I'm a little hesitant, right? I'm a little hesitant about the credit restoration services. Imagine that. And then all of a sudden you say, really? <laughs> Let me show you what's going on behind the hood with your credit report. And then you send them the analyzer. They will be shocked at all of the inconsistencies on the credit report. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen? 
you can run unlimited amount of analyzers even in the $99 plan. There's no restrictions with the analyzer. Hey, look, this is Mark Claiborne, Client Dispute Manager, Credit Repair Software. It is your time to get the Client Dispute Manager software. All right, until next time, I'll see you in the next video.